It's Bill Stephen Warren, an entrepreneur, a startup, and a small businessman. They all have practical money making and job creating ideas to create new businesses and help make a better community. But they need money or a loan to fund and build their ideas. How can they raise the money to create this business and what is the roadmap? The most common method is to get a loan from a bank. But banks consider startup entrepreneurial ventures too risky, especially now with the economic downturn and today's restrictive lending policies. Then the answer is usually a big no. Clearly, this way there is very little new business development, innovation, or growth. Just think of business and the world without the Bills, Steves, and the Warrens. Currently, an entrepreneur needs a business plan and a loan application, then a drive to the bank to meet with the loan officers in the hope of getting a loan. But not anymore. Through the internet, using cloud and social media environments, the entrepreneur can access hundreds or thousands of potential investors through crowdfunding websites. There are several ways to seek crowdfunding. The first is the donation method of crowdfunding. This model has been around for years. People can donate money in small increments to a project which they believe has moral and ethical value and that is good for the community. Examples of this are asking for donations on Facebook causes or GoFundMe. The second is the pre order method of crowdfunding. Here, people make online pledges during a campaign to pre buy the product for later delivery. A good example of this is Kickstarter. The third is the reward based method of crowdfunding. This is a variation on the two previous types, where investors get the satisfaction of helping and immediately get a predetermined reward or item of value, but no equity or ownership. A good example of this is Indiegogo. And finally, the fourth is equity based crowdfunding. This is the newest model, which will allow large numbers of regular people like you and me to invest small amounts each online to fund early startups with the expectation to receive dividends or investment appreciation based on profits of the business. So now we can see that crowdfunding is using the crowd to raise capital by connecting people with talent, ideas, and some neat stuff to sell with those that have the funds to invest their way, thus creating jobs, new business opportunities, and fueling the economy. Crowdfunding revenue is projected to top $2.8 billion in 2012 and more than $16.6 billion in 2014. The speed of growth of crowdfunding from 2009 to 2014 is very similar to the growth pattern of the internet in the early 1990s. This raises the big question. Do you want to just watch crowdfunding happen and grow? Or do you want to be a part of it? How about leveraging the 2.5 billion internet users who can be potential investors with a projected $300 billion of investment revenue opportunity? Do you know the size and potential of your social capital?